Has this ever happened to you? You're just getting ready to start filming a video and your neighbor decides at that exact moment to mow their lawn? Or the construction crew down the street decides to go crazy with a jackhammer? When that happens, it can be nearly impossible to get clean audio. Or at least it used to be before DaVinci Resolve version 18.1 introduced their voice isolation effect and you've actually been listening to it this entire time. Let's turn it off and listen again. You're just getting ready to start filming a video and your neighbor decides at that exact moment to mow their lawn? Or the construction crew down the street decides to go crazy with a jackhammer? So yeah, all that noise was in there the entire time and it's pretty insane that it could get rid of it. And the question is what happens when you put the voice isolation effect to the test in a bunch of different, more practical situations? So I reached out to a couple of my YouTuber friends that you might recognize and I asked them to send me some test clips so that you and I could go through and see how effective the voice isolation plugin actually is. After I grind some coffee, Let's secure the cup and get into it. First things first, let's take a quick look at how to use the voice isolation effect in DaVinci Resolve. You will need the paid version of Resolve for this to be an option, so if you're using the free version, unfortunately you won't have this, but it might be a good reason to upgrade. One of the best parts about this plugin is that it's super easy to use. You can turn it on, turn it off, and you've got an amount slider that allows you to adjust how much of the voice isolation it's actually doing. You can access the effect from several different places throughout the interface, including the edit page, cut page and on the Fairlight page, of course. But most importantly, there are two major ways that you can use the effect that will have different results depending on what you're looking for. The first way that you can use the effect is at the clip level. If you click on any given clip, make sure that your inspector is open in the top right and click on the audio icon. You'll see the voice isolation panel there. You can expand it by clicking on the name voice isolation. Now, if we were to engage the effect here, it's only going to affect that one clip that we have selected and it's going to leave all the other clips alone, which can be great if you have just one clip that's really noisy and all the other ones on the track are clean and you don't necessarily need it. At this point, you aren't able to select multiple clips and apply voice isolation to them all at the same time, but a little workaround for that is that you can apply your voice isolation to one clip, then with that first clip still selected, hit Command or Control C to copy, then you can select any other clips that you want that same voice isolation on and hit Option or Alt V to paste attributes and under audio attributes, select plugins and hit apply. This will paste any audio plugins, including the voice isolation from the first clip onto the others. But the other way that you can use the voice isolation effect is on an entire track of audio. So if you have a bunch of clips all on one track with background noise, you can slap this onto all of them as long as you're okay with the same settings to be on the entire track. To do this, you need to select the track rather than a clip. You can do that in the edit page by clicking on the empty space just below the audio track label. In the Fairlight page, you can do this by clicking pretty much anywhere on the track on the left side as long as it's not on another button and I couldn't actually seem to find a way to select an audio track on the cut page. Once you've got the audio track selected, you should see the track name in the top left of the inspector, and you'll see a more limited set of audio options that includes your track level, voice isolation effect, and dialogue leveler. If you turn on the voice isolation from here, it will apply to every piece of audio that's on that track. I find this super handy for longer talking segments that are cut up into a lot of smaller clips. It's much easier than having to individually apply apply voice isolation to all those clips or to use the copy and paste attributes workaround that I showed you before. Okay, so now that we know how to use the voice isolation plugin, we're going to grab the clips that were sent in. And while we do that, I'm gonna tell you about this video sponsor, C Media Cloud from Sony. Using C Media Cloud, I was able to collaborate with the other creators for this video easily by creating a custom file request. Then I just shared the link with my collaborators and they were able to easily upload their files directly to me. But this is just one of the many tools available to save you time, money, and resources in C Media Cloud. For example, when you upload a video file, it automatically creates proxies and other relevant media for streamlined team or individual workflow. You've got customizable metadata and advanced search functionality. You can use it to review media, create timestamped comments, pins, or general notes for yourself, team members, or clients who are collaborating on a project. Since I generally work by myself, C Media Cloud has been a quick and reliable 
reliable resource for sharing drafts to clients to get their notes and approval. And once I do get that wonderful client approval, I can choose to change the file over to downloadable for delivery. You can even do a lot of this on their mobile app so you can be productive on the go. Honestly, there is so much more that you can do with C-Media Cloud that I haven't even touched on, but the best way to find out is to go try it for yourself. They have a free pro and team plan to fit your needs and the first 200 people to use the link and the special code down in the description will get three months of pro for free. Huge thank you to C-Media Cloud for sponsoring this video. Okay, now that we've got the files, let's see what the voice isolation plugin can do in different situations, starting with Becky from the channel Becky and Chris. This is a really difficult audio situation. The mic is about five feet away from Becky and there's quite a bit of echo and room noise to battle with over Becky's voice. On top of that, the mic is set to omnidirectional, which means that it's picking up from all around, not just what's in front of it. And to top it off, there's a loud pool pump going on in the background. So here's what it sounds like without the voice isolation. I don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in your game for two. You may hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. So as you can see, not super great as far as audio quality goes. And here's what happens when we apply voice isolation to the clip. I don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in your game for two. You may hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. It's a pretty incredible transformation getting rid of basically all the room noise and even taming that echo a little bit. Because of the mic placement, the voice still needs a little bit of work with an EQ to get it sounding nicer, maybe some cleaner room tone added back in to make it sound less like a vacuum, but this is a great starting place. I don't want to be a fool for you. Just another player in your game for two. You may hate me, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, bye, bye. Next, we've got a clip from the wonderful Sydney Deongson. This is a great example of when you find a beautiful location to film in, but the reason that it's beautiful is because there is running water nearby. And even with a more ideal audio setup with the microphone being closer to the subject, that water makes a whole lot of noise. Let's check it out without voice isolation. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking into spider webs. So leave a message and I'll call you back. A likely story, but leave a message and I'll call you back. And here's what it sounds like with the voice isolation turned on. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking into spider webs. So leave a message and I'll call you back. A likely story, but leave a message and I'll call you back. Ow. By a spider. Once again, it does a pretty incredible job getting rid of that background noise. Even during the parts where Sydney is talking, the noise doesn't come back in like a typical gate or noise reducer. So it's truly finding and isolating that human voice. For this one, we may want to dial back the amount since it feels a bit weird for the water to be nowhere, even though we can see it on the screen. So maybe we'll bring it down to something like 70%. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm walking into spider webs. So leave a message and I'll call you back. Next, I did a similar test to Sydney, but in mine, I was standing right in front of a construction site with loud tools and a truck's backup signal going off. My assumption is that this would be a more difficult situation for voice isolation to handle since it's a less consistent background noise than the water example. But let's find out, this is it without voice isolation. I don't wanna waste my time, become another casualty of society, and I will never fall in line and become another victim of your conformity and back down. And here it is with voice isolation turned on. I don't wanna waste my time, become another casualty of society, and I will never fall in line and become another victim of your conformity and back down. It's not gonna happen. Well, damn, I guess you can vlog pretty much anywhere now. And for our final test, the incredible voice of Farouk from iPhoneDo will battle to be heard over Joe playing guitar in the background. We really wanted to see how the voice isolation plugin would perform if we asked it to get rid of background music. So here it is before. When I was a young boy, my father, took me into the city 
to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? He said, and here's what it sounds like after the voice isolation. Do you defeat death, your demons, and all the non-believers, the plans that they had made? This one is actually really interesting because the voice itself sounds pretty great, but from time to time the harmonic nature of the guitar gets kind of tangled in with the sounds and you hear little bits and pieces of it sneaking through. If you happen to be shooting a video somewhere with background music playing and you didn't want that song coming through in your video, this might be the answer to save your clip. So as you can hear, the voice isolation plugin in DaVinci Resolve 18.1 is pretty incredible, definitely going beyond what typical noise reduction plugins or noise gates have been able to do in the past. The voice doesn't always sound perfect coming out the other side, and the more background noise there is to get rid of, the more kind of garbled the voice can sound, but if you're in a pinch with a really bad clip, this would probably get you by just fine. And on more reasonable background noise, like computers or electronic fans, wind, water, or city noise, it does an absolutely fantastic job. But as always, I want to hear from you. What do you think of the voice isolation plugin from DaVinci Resolve, and would you use it on your projects. Leave a comment down below and on your way down there, hit the like and subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Huge thank you to Becky and Chris, Sydney DeYoungson and Farouk and Joe for helping me with the test footage. I've left links for all of their channels down in the descriptions. Make sure you go show them some love. And of course, thank you to you for watching and I'll see you next time. Because one day I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the Black Parade.